Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of The Gentleman's Den. How y'all doing? My name is Sean, and to my left is Frankie, and to my right, as always, is Jeff. Yo, yo. Yeah, buddy. Gentlemen, how the hell are we doing today? Feeling fantastic. Doing great. <sighs> I'm not going to lie to the folks out there. This is our, like, fifth take doing this tonight. <laughs> That's not true. It's a one-time take every time. Yeah, every time. Every time. We we had a, a we just minor, set up and go a minor technical malfunction. Yeah, so I think and we started doing the podcast cola. around Give me a cola. nine o'clock, and it's what time right now? <coughs> uh, it is now one seventeen. One seventeen no in way. the morning. Yeah, I'm fucked up. Yeah, and it's a. Uh, I'm to that point where I need a coke with my whiskey. <laughs> it's awesome, <laughs> and I didn't have one. Yeah. Uh, so everybody had a good week, I'm guessing. Not a Boy Scout. I wasn't prepared. Oh. Yeah, I was in a bad week. A little hot, a little oh, rainy. It was a little hot. Rough. Oof. Oh, it was Rough. swamp sweaty. It was Africa hot, as they say. Ooh. But I actually enjoyed it, too, at the same time. I also have an air-conditioned office. So Holla. in town. Pound sign ball in, bro. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> uh, you know, we got an email finally, boys. Email? Email. People still do that? <laughs> gentleman, that's the gentleman's way to, to communicate is right? through email. Real so stand-up guy uses email. I cracked open the email at thegentlemansdenpod <laughs> at gmail.com. Awesome. It's just great. And uh, Take 47. I, I open up this email, and it's from a, a dude named Butch Dixon. And Butch Dixon wants to sponsor us. So, boys, we officially have a sponsor. That's awesome. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Man from Texas. Um, And I asked him, I go, so what are you selling? He said, you know, didn't really get back to us. I'm like, okay, man, we, we need to know what we're, we got to do, we got to make you a commercial at least. We got to, you know, sell your product. Right, know what to say. And, and promote right, it. like normally they like send in an ad and like yeah, one of us will read yeah, it. Yeah. Or yeah, if you listen to any other podcast, you hear people butcher ad reads all the time. <laughs> so it would have been great for us to actually butcher an ad read. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't do any of the ad reads. Frankie's doing all the <laughs> ad reads. What's this word? <laughs> so Butch Dixon, and it just he just said he was an entrepreneur from Texas, and he wanted to sponsor our podcast but wouldn't tell us what the product is and sent us a commercial, which we haven't listened to yet. I'm excited to hear it. So... Without any further ado, here is Texas entrepreneur Butch Dixon. Man, I just don't know what to pick. Reds? Angry Orchard? I want a cider, but these just aren't hard enough. Hey, honey, you looking for a hard cider that's really going to fill you up? Yeah, but who are you? The name's Butch Dixon, and I've got the hardest cider around. Hard Dixon Cider. Give it a taste. Mmm. This is great. Told you. It comes in all kinds of flavors. Hard, harder, and my wife's favorite, she loves the hardest Dixon cider. Thanks, Butch Dixon. Anytime, honey. And if you like a fuller, creamier flavor, try our seasonal summer malt liquor. Thick, dark Dixon cider. Also, try our new 40 ounce. Huge Dixon cider. Comes with a bonus Kid Rock's greatest hit CD. You'll love Hard Dixon Cider. I guarantee it. Or my name is in Butch Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our sponsor, Dixon Cider. <laughs> Dixon Cider. I can dig it. Yeah, oh. no, that's I'm just fucking dying. Is he going to send us any? I, I hope so. I want to try that. I, I want to try that malt. <laughs> yeah, you like it thicker. I want to try that. You? Yeah, I do. I like a nice malt liquor. The nice thick malt that, liquor. The thicker, the that better. That thick dark Dixon cider sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Which oh. one did you go with, Frankie? Probably Ooh. the forty, huh? <laughs> All of them. Yeah, he you know me. I like variety, like my food. Yeah, I probably, like a little bit of everything. Probably get a variety. Myself, uh, being that I'm not the seasoned drinker that I once was, I'll just take the little Dixon cider. No, I would for sure be getting you two forties of duct tape to your hands. Yeah, you'd be fucking forty ounce Edward Dixon 40 cider. Hands. Yeah, that's <laughs> that sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> Speaking of horrible ideas, 
It's Country Thunder Weekend. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it. It sounds like it's storming pretty good out there right now. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. There's, you don't even need to check the weather when Country Thunder rolls around. It's raining. No, yeah, every time, every year. It's hot and raining. Yeah, it's 100 degrees and it's raining at the same time. So <laughs> I want to I wanna talk about the uh, what kind of animal goes to a Country Thunder concert. So this is, this is a true story. This isn't me making up bullshit. There was a girl last year at Country Thunder talking on her cell phone during a thunderstorm, which is hilarious that it's called Country Thunder every year, obviously. Yeah, storms are coming. So she, get, she gets hit by lightning, goes through, her, through the phone, through her ear, blows out her foot. Yeah, she got blown right out of her cowboy boots. Yeah. Like, what? This is a real story? Yeah. This is a real story. This really happened. Yes. <laughs> this is so, fucking crazy. So this girl was pronounced dead like three times. What? Yeah. I always they, wanted to go. I don't want to go no more. They, uh, <laughs> she goes and she's in a coma for like two months. Comes out, can't hear except for she's got a cochlear implant, which is what they give deaf people. And then has trouble walking because she still has electricity in her body. Holy cow. What is she doing? Going to Country Thunder. No fucking way. (laughs) No way. That's a trooper. That's a fucking champion. Right. Right. That is a deep love. That's a different breed. For bad decisions. For horrible (laughs) decisions. Because you know there's one of those guys out there be like, Oh, that's that girl that got hit by lightning, son. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's She's that guy. She's still got the electricity <laughs> running through I, her. I bet I could feel the head zipping through my dick. <laughs> oh, it's 100%. electric vibe. Someone's trying it for sure. Oh, it's, would it, you want to? Hmm? I don't know if I would. That sounds, that sounds like I might be hazardous to my health. I don't know. It's uh, not like it's she was in a nuclear power plant. <laughs> 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 that yeah. might be. Yeah, you're not going to get either <laughs> cancer or radiation from her. <laughs> Maybe some kind of new thing. You're Movies gonna, start you're, out like this all the time. <laughs> yeah, porno start out like this all the time. <laughs> you're not gonna. You're not gonna get superpowers from a radioactive chick. You don't know. Maybe she could shoot lightning no, bolts. You know, that su- wasn't in the article. You must have read. <laughs> you know. You know. What you get lymphoma. <laughs> 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 Your dick looks like a sparkler when you're trying to piss. <laughs> <laughs> it already feels like he sticks a sparkler in the tip with all the STDs he's holding. Fuck See yeah, the bro. swivel stick? <laughs> Country Thunder used to be the best. It's right down the street from my house, so it's like we used to go there all the fucking time. I've never been. Every year. Sounds awesome. Wild time, bro. Sounds horrible at the same time. It It went from being fun to being almost scary. With the amount of retardation in our country. Is it weird? I like to be scared. I kind of like You do thrill. not like to be scared. You I like watching like scary sense, movies. You just like that sense of danger? I just like the, like in scary movies, the fact that you get so much emotion, like sitting on the edge of your seat and like get your heart racing, your blood pumping. I love horror movies and scary movies like that. And I love comedy movies because they make you laugh. You said Those are horror, my favorite. horror, right? Horror? Horror. horror. No, he horror likes movie. the horror movies too. <laughs> that would be my third favorite for sure. <laughs> you know that, two hundred percent. Frankie, what are you doing over there? Let me be. <laughs> Don't disturb me when I'm cleaning my room. God damn it! <laughs> so, like I said, Movie Country reference. Thunder's going on. I don't live too Ooh. far away, so my lady, uh, her friends come over to pre-party, and we drop them off over there. It's like a, you know, two-second drive. So then after they're done, they call, hey, can you pick us up? We need a place to stay. You know, can we just crash at your house? So, yeah, a girlfriend of picks them up. Of course. You yeah. always help your friends out. She's good-hearted. Plus, you know, they're fucked up. We don't want them driving home. Just spend the night here. I think the the number I heard earlier was like she took in 23 strays. How dare you? Hey, you guys are awesome rescue family. <laughs> <laughs> so in the morning, my lady wakes up, and uh, we have this dog, a rescue dog. And has separation anxiety. So, like, any time we leave the house, yeah, this dog pisses and shits. Yeah. It's just going to happen. But Red Red's the 
best. She is the sweetest she dog. Love her to death, but she just she gets crazy when we leave the house. Little cuddle bug. So my girlfriend wakes up in the morning, and there's piss and shit in some places, you know? But there's this particular place where there's pee. In the front room. All right, let's just get this out of the way quick. Sorry for jumping around. Front room is a Chicago. living room. It, yeah. <laughs> People in Chicago, every time I'm like, oh, it's the front room. People are like, what the fuck did you just say? The front room. Yeah. The front room. There's a living room. So there's a living the room, room, and then there's oh. a front room. Yeah. But in Chicago, they just say front. Front room. Front room. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, and like, like you said, in Wisconsin, it's front room or living room. Some people call it a den, some, you know, whatever. Front room. It's a front room. It's a front room. Restaurant. So now you know. Yeah. Restaurant. So... <laughs> There's a there's some potty in the front room. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, hold on. But there's the, a cat tree. Yeah, there there's is. a cat tree up there against this wall, and it's been moved out. And there was a picture hanging above where th- this this piss is, and it's gone. Nowhere to be found. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so my girlfriend starts cleaning it up, and about halfway through, she figures out that this, this guy pissed in the corner over <laughs> here. This is human pee. There's no, this has to be human <laughs> pee. It, yes. It, it smelled like asparagus and bush lattes. Well, when I've the dog pisses, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't move the cat tree and take pictures off the wall. <laughs> right. Where was, what happened to the pitcher? Where was the pitcher? The pitcher was on the island um, in the kitchen, broken. The the f- the glass was broken out of it. Yeah. Where? Uh, but on the, the gl- table in there? So, on so the island in the kitchen. Well, so Rid Rid didn't so put what, it on the table. So what had That's hap- a smart dog. What had happened was Rid, See, our d- yeah, our dog. Rid moved the moved the cat tree to take a piss. It was like, man, that pitcher's crooked. I'm going to straighten it. And it fell and broke the glass. So she put it on the table in the kitchen. And cleaned up the glass. Yeah. See, that's, that's a rescue exactly dog for you. Dude, that's who's, who's rescuing who? And this guy was up sitting there watching my girlfriend clean this. And my, my uh, no one damn well, no one damn well. And then he's like, "Yeah, the dog must have did it." Woo. The whole time in his mind, it's just, "Oh yeah, you clean up my piss." That's <laughs> right, you clean that yeah, piss. He's never Probably fucking pissed in Mark your Kelly house shit. unless in the appropriate destination. This is also the same guy that was dry humping someone in his sleep. I've never pissed air humping? where I I'm not supposed to. Yeah, air humping. Right. Like, Ever. we got a buddy that's pissed in, in... Well, well, you know, we've pissed on sides of buildings and shit. Yeah, that's different. All right, we got a buddy who is fucking pissed. All right, let's set the scene. He's got his house. Everyone's over drinking. Everyone's partying. Are we he, telling the first story? About yeah, he where he gets up oven? and he goes in the kitchen. <laughs> and just as if he was lifting the toilet seat, he... Opened the oven. Opened the opens oven the door. oven and starts pissing inside of it. <laughs> How fucked up do you gotta be? You gotta be gone. Well, hey, oh, I. <laughs> there a, ain't enough zeros on, on a side on note. That note yeah, That's I'm not that. Sure. On a side note, were you there the night that the girl tried peeing on the nightlight in the hallway at that at, at the? Uh, no water and electricity. Not there, but tell me more. Oh, right. what? But, so we're we're over at uh, I can't tell you their names because I don't want to get sued. They uh, they had an apartment in Lake Geneva. Like, in the shitty apartments in Lake Geneva, like the ones, like, by Badger High School. Nice set in the scene. And uh, we're over there drinking, having a good time. I forgot who was all there. It's And the one girl is hammered, and she falls asleep on the couch, and we're all just still drinking. She gets up to go to the bathroom. She's walking down the hallway, and I watched her lift the imaginary toilet seat up, <laughs> <laughs> turn around, and get ready to drop trow to take a piss. I grab her by her arm because she was on the the bathroom was on the other side. The door's open. The toilet seat's up. I grab her by her arm and throw her onto the toilet seat. <laughs> How the fuck do you get that fucked up? <laughs> I don't get it. And I've been fucked up. Right. And she lands perfect. Everything's good. I fall out laughing i hit the ground <laughs> laughing because yeah, yeah. how fuck you're also a hero you saved their life because i watched her open the imaginary toilet seat that's that's to the extreme that must be <laughs> one of these new lightweight seats <laughs> right they must be drinking dick's hard cider oh uh, yeah man. hard that's dicks what, insider that's what hard dicks insider does the <laughs> <laughs> 
makes you piss on night lights <laughs> and um, piss in your oven. So well, going back to our buddy with the piss in the oven. Yeah, so there was a party we were at. We were out. It was on the boat. We were fucking drinking for some weekend, like Fourth of July weekend, days on end. And uh, we had his pontoon out in our speedboat and tied up, best of both worlds, enjoying everything, drinking, drinking nonstop. We all decide he lives on the lake that we were just going to tie up at his pier and crash at his house and get up in the morning and go again. And I don't know how the fuck this happens, I but in the morning, I'm sleeping, curled up in a ball on this couch in the corner, and I hear, who the fuck shit in this drawer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on? She's like, what are you motherfucking shit in this drawer? She comes out. I got like one eye barely open. <laughs> what? Shit in a drawer? Are you Where? fucking kidding me? The All bathroom. over my fucking hair straightener. <laughs> I, I honestly don't believe she was even that mad that oh, someone shit it, it in was the just, drawer. It was, just, yeah. it was, it was the landing shit point. on top of her hair straightener. She's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it was the landing point of the turd. It she wasn't was like drilling everybody. Turd. Was it you who shit? Who did it? <laughs> who did this? That reminds me of that it's scene like in Ted. the best game of Clue. <laughs> that reminds right. me of that scene But it's funny because Ted. everyone in the room knows who fucking did it. Yeah. yeah. He knew. fucking lives there. Yeah. You don't shit in the toilet it that's her, literally next her, to uh, the drawer? Her future husband. Yes. <laughs> what a lovely marriage that is. Yeah. I made her cry at the wedding because she told me I couldn't do it, and I did it. And I'm still proud of in it. In a positive, today. made her cry in a positive. Yeah, right? Yeah, way. everyone probably took Didn't that. Didn't say she look. You look fat in your dress, honey. <laughs> 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 that would have done it for sure. <laughs> actually, she. she I, actually, no, I don't think it would have for this this one. She's she's tough as nails. That's no, for yeah, sure. She's yeah, one she of the is. boys for sure. But just don't shit on her hair straight. Yeah, she'll fuck she'll you bring up. Down the fucking wrath of God. I uh, like though that I remember that moment like we're all sitting there in the room and just kind of looking at each other like everyone knows who did this I yeah. didn't do it. You well, didn't then they do blamed it. it. They blamed it on the one guy. Right. And he wasn't allowed back in their house <laughs> a long fucking time. He had to sleep in the yard. He still hasn't fussed up that he's shit in the drawer. No, and this poor guy is probably like calling him. Hey, guys, want to hang out? They're like, nope. Nope, drawer <laughs> shitter. Sorry. God, what's up with these guys? They're not having me over. They never want to hang out. I didn't <laughs> shit in the drawer, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> they never return my calls. Oh, oh. Good fucking times. Good fucking, Good fucking times. times. Christ. So, speaking of dumbass shit, who's storming Area 51? I'm out. I'm not doing Bro, that. That's I want to see it. But I don't want to. No part of it. Right. It just like sounds I, crazy. It's I want, like going to the, you know, like the moon or Mars. Like, I want to, you know, I want to experience watching it. But Sometimes I, I felt like I've gone to Mars. To no, I'm good. I'm Sometimes good. I feel like I'm right there and I could just reach out and touch it. But I'm fucking, I'm down to watch it. These fucking crazy bastards want to go out to the desert and. I'm in. Well, I want to watch it for gonna, sure. Like I said, they're going to do that an- anime run, too, where their arms are behind their back and their chest's out and their head's out. <laughs> just a w- wide That's just open leaving target. yourself open, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, can we make the bullet? <laughs> See, I would, I would run. I would practice, like, right now, get a treadmill, and I would practice running sideways because right. it's a smaller target. <laughs> like holding your shoulder up. And yeah. <laughs> s- running sideways and zigging and zagging. So. Right, serpentine, serpentine, son. Serpentine, <laughs> baby. These guys are going to run straight balls out. How far are they getting? Like, how many right. people have signed up for See, this? Two million. But hold on. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's but a, how many are showing up? It's a predetermined date. Even they already know they're that's coming. That's like when you send invitations out to a birthday party and everyone's like, yeah, I'll be there. So you're expecting 50 people and 25 show up. So how many are actually going? <laughs> well, if it's 2 million, say half. 1 million? It's a lot of people. Bro. It's Dude, a lot of weirdos. I don't care if it's 20,000. If you have 20,000 people trying to storm a government base, they're going to get mown down. Yeah. It's not going to end well. No. Like... We want and to see those the, aliens, bro. The big thing is that they're giving them a date. Like, they're going to be prepared. It, no. It's like I, told, I said it They're before, moving all the I'll aliens right now. So they're, yeah, they're going to no. move them until the, no. what is it? The, the September 20th. 20th is a fake date. What they're going to do is they're going to attack on the 19th. That, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. See, that's well, what if they move it yeah, on the 18th? They were fucking thinking, guys. What if they're thinking, right? like, all right, we got 72 See, hours until us, the attack? They're expecting us on the 20th. Right. So they're only going to have half their forces, 
You know, we so we'll go, go the nineteenth. It's that's a still a fucking stupid, stupid. Plan. Could you imagine? I just picture like some guy in a bunker and they hit the button, <laughs> and it's going off. Sir, they're here a day earlier. <laughs> Fuck, we're not prepared. <laughs> they're all still <laughs> loading <laughs> magazines. Johnson, call the president. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got to drop a nuke. We got to <laughs> drop the nuke. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a big I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a big turnout. No matter what, even if they do fucking get in there, you know, they're going to look around and the base is like empty. What Where happens, they what happens when they get to the first we know door? They're here. And the first door they go to fucking open it and they're like, "Huh, do you have a card?" Yeah, where's your Who's got a key card? Anyone? No. Do you? Well, yeah. Do you bring one? I thought you were bringing it. If you're running, you know, with your chest out and your arms back, you, got a key you can't carry anything. And what last? Yeah, you want to be more. You can't yeah. wear a backpack. It's gonna fucking weigh you down. You're gonna the fall thing is over. This key card. You need to put it in a backpack. Right. Well, how else are you gonna carry the stuff? You're not gonna use your hands. I got a pocket. Maybe they're gonna send one guy Do around you think those the hipsters to the other side of the base. Right. It's with a like diversion. A naked celery stick up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just a distraction. Making a distraction. <laughs> like MacGruber. Movie oh. reference. <laughs> <laughs> and then That's everyone just part. everyone just fucking sneaks in. What a great movie. <laughs> uh, side note from us DJ last night. Jeff, before he got in my truck at the end, did the MacGruber scene. No, he didn't. He did the, what do you want me to fuck? I'll fuck you. <laughs> 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 when I left I last night, you were in rare I'll, I'll let you fuck me. I'll fuck something, pick something out in the room, and I'll fuck it for you. <laughs> I, I just you remember the cooler. that. I totally oh forgot God. about that. God damn it, that was fun. What a great movie. You don't remember a lot from last night, do you? No, I don't. And my answer to that was like, Jeff, just get in the fucking car. It's already 3 o'clock. <laughs> Please. <laughs> time to go it was That's all coming back to me i forgot i had that cold ass sloppy joe oh man they were delicious i was dying when i first got to the bar that there was an old lady that came up to me and she like greeted me she's like hi she's like come on in it's a party she's like here we got sloppy joes she's like would you like me to make you one and I- I'm just thinking in my head, Billy Madison, like, are they extra sloppy, $8? She's like, I can make it for you. Of course, I'm in the background. As soon as Frankie says it, it's already coming out of my mouth, (laughs) too. Are you going to make them extra sloppy for (laughs) them? Oh, I was fucking dying. It was such a good time. It was such a good night. Oh, it, was, it was a fun night. Anytime we can actually get out and DJ for a little bit. Yeah, get together, fun. play yeah. some good music. Whatever. Some good times, some good friends. Yeah, it's. It was good seeing DJ Mantis out last weekend. Oh, or DJ last night. I, the man, the myth, the I legend. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to see more of him. It's not mm-hmm. enough. Yeah, not enough cowbell. That's that's one enough. person that we can do a name drop with because he he's actually. We're going to have him on the podcast eventually. Dude, because he is seriously probably the sickest DJ I've ever heard. I love his really? mixes. I'm waiting for that CD still. Only a decade yeah, now. He said he was going to make you a mixtape. When like I seen him last night, he's like, ago. I got one. I was like, what? You yeah, didn't see. I was all excited. And then Mike- Almost as excited as when I was I looked at him and seen him here. I'm like, oh, my God, it's Mike. And then all of a sudden, he's like, I got a CD. And just dangles it in front of me like the carrot. Always. Mike's Always. story is really good, too, with, with the DJing and with the drummer stuff. It's a really good story. Well, he was doing DJ drummer shows before Barker AM and, and Barker made it. Fucking the trendsetter, bro. Trendsetter. Fucking trendsetter. Yeah, he was doing that in Orlando. I mean, I've been going to see him forever. I remember going to see him on ladies' nights on fucking Wednesdays, dude. Such a good time. Just dancing. Oh, I have the pictures to prove it. Frankie danced with the toothless lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I did. She was a lovely lady. Lovely lady. Sean. Rest in peace. Yeah. She she went out in a bang. It's Don't the kind smoke of, in your bed. It's the kind of bar where the, a, a guy walked in with no shirt on, overalls, just ready, that kind of ready party. to party. Yeah. yeah. That's what kind of bar. But it, it had the best music you would ever fucking hear. Just... Fuck chicks, I want to dance all night long. So many good times, so many just... That's where <sighs> you'll you'll hear us when every now and then play that real shit. That real shit, that Sean Paul? That's where some, that... guy, some guy comes up to the DJ booth, DJ Manis is DJing, and he goes, play that real shit. So we're thinking like, oh, you know, he's going to ask for like some, some badass old school hip, yeah. that real shit. 
and he's like, what do you want to hear? That Sean Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I, we were like, what? I fell out laughing. <laughs> oh, that fuck. shit was. When the, did Sean Paul turn into the real shit? That real that shit. That shit was the funniest fucking That's what I knew. This next generation me. was doomed. <laughs> Play that real oh, shit. Fuck. Play that Sean Paul. Oh man, I can't wait till when he does his next show. I am fucking going and dancing all night long. See, nice. No, so Play yeah. that. It was good to. It was good to see. Mr. Yeah, Man. it was really cool because like I, you know, actually got to hang out with him. That when he's actually DJing and he's you know on the tables constantly, you can't really hang out and talk with him. So it was nice that we was able to kick it and. Bullshit and catch up. I haven't Just seen him forever. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. It, it was going. He'll be on the podcast soon. Yeah, he's, he's, he says he's, he's coming t- out. He's more. small town infamous for sure. A hundred percent. Yeah, small he does a lot of driving back. Sti and forth. small town small infamous. town infamous. Bro. City to city. But it was a blast last That's, night. That'll be our next hanging out with everyone. Mm-hmm. Dialon came out. It was a good time. Yeah. It always is. That's what I mean. I just I love doing that shit. It's mm-hmm. basically hanging out with you fuckers just more and more. I enjoy it. I don't know why. Yeah, we just get fucked up and forget about eating sandwiches and <laughs> sandwiches. I got savage last night. Let yeah. me tell you. I'm like, you should have a eat. burger with me, bro. Yeah. No, nah, I don't want a burger. I'm going to get savage. <laughs> 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 yeah, you fucking got well, savage. Well, you know why? He napped. Yeah, he didn't get up till like 4 o'clock. Which, what time did you get up today? Today, 5.30. You <laughs> fucking bum. Bro. You fucking bum. I got kids, man. He's catching I never his- get to sleep. He's catching his second wind. That's why it's you know almost two o'clock in the morning doing this podcast, and he's ready to fucking go. Is it that late? God, look at how wide open his eyes are. Bro. He's fucking. He's wired. ready to fucking go. Wiry, wiry, wiry. I had a nice say power it. nap. Fucking say it. Well, raise a glass then with me, because I'm at a level where I'm teeter tottering, and I'm just gonna fucking crash here because I'm done. Cheers, cheers, boys. Everyone, boys. raise a glass out there. Ugh. Oh. And since Jeff and I don't have any uh, any rumplements, because we're both stupid and no, because they're luscious and drink it all. Shut up. <laughs> it's true. It's hey, true. listen, man. By the end of the night, when you've been drinking all day, you kind of want a minty thing to get the taste of booty out of your mouth. What? I, I was he was going to put some minty thing in his mouth. That's where he was going to say he stopped himself. The minty thing in your mouth. No, so what you, you need, need, at the, you end need of the, the minty thing because your your breath smell like dick, booty, and asshole. Not yeah, my it's breath. like brushing your teeth midway yeah. through the through the club. You know what I'm saying? Like no, you know, Rumpelmans is fucking gross. Yeah, but it smells so minty fresh. Yeah, I want to gag when you talk it's like to me. Like popping asserts. You know what I'm saying? Not the same. Totally, it, it might be. It's better than when I took that shot of Cavassier. <laughs> oh my god. I remember when that song came out. Pass the Cavassier. Cavassier. Jeff has this great idea at the bar and says, let's fucking go get a glass. Or he said a shot of Cavassier. And when you order it, they don't. I mean, it was I, a tumbler. Yeah, this was Ugh. a glass of Cavassier. A glass. So he's like, let's try this, bro. I don't even know what this is going to taste like. Never had it. And he takes a big gulp out of it. And I could see on his face as he's handing it to me, he doesn't like it. <laughs> he doesn't like it at all. I don't like it. Not one bit. And so I go to taste it, and uh, I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. But as soon as we swallow, all of a sudden, a, a, a fucking switch is flipped. And Jeff's like, bro, bro, <laughs> bro, come, on, come with me. Come with me, bro. I need you. I'm like, what? <laughs> so we go to the bathroom, and he's pacing in the bathroom. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong I'm with you? You're like, I, I didn't puke. like it. I'm going to puke. I don't like it. I'm going to fucking don't like puke. It. Don't puke. Don't puke. <laughs> I'm literally fucking almost on this disgusting floor, fucking dying laughing. And uh, like a trooper, you know what he did? Swallowed it down. He finished it. <laughs> 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 Who in their right fucking mind finishes something that they're literally pacing in the bathroom? I, I paid for it. I was pay, was that at Big Shots? No, that uh, was at Sly Fox. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. And that and there's no way that Cavassier was new. Mm-hmm. That's, that that Cavassier came out of someone's basement. Yeah, I no, still I'm, remember pacing that bathroom. Don't puke. Don't puke. Don't puke. <laughs> but it was a I was there for puke. cheerleading moral support. Don't puke. You Don't got puke. this, bro. Got it, bro. I'm like, rub my shoulder. You can do it. That's you know, that's one of the bars I miss DJing at. 
Yeah, that was, that a, was a good bar. time. Lots of that, good times. That bar was fun, except for when that one bouncer was there and t- or pepper sprayed the one kid outside while we were DJing. That kind of put a damper on the night. Yeah, I think that would. For his Best night, costume for sure. I ever had for Halloween was fucking was the clown. Oh, oh I yeah. went there that year. Yeah, that was a dope costume. Dope as fuck. I bought the little kid suit and wore that, so it was like super, super tiny on me and long fucking colorful striped socks and <laughs> I had all the like syringes and it looked like you did my makeup where my throat was slit. Those the fucking man. Those syringes were filled with shots too. Yeah. <laughs> Literally there was chicks at the bar that fucking left because I looked that fucking Too scary. scary. They were freaking out petrified. Ooh. Oh, fireworks, fireworks going, going on. on. Country Dungeons in full effect, boys. Oh. Sun's out, guns out. There was just a storm and the storm is over. It's fucking redneck Halloween right now. <laughs> people, these people never. What time did you just say it was? Like two thirty the morning. Lighting off fireworks yeah. at two thirty. What time is it? It is a. Uh, you know what's crazy? That sounds like it's closer than the thunder. It's, oh, it's not. Probably. It's not thunder. That was the people that live that were the blowing neighbors? them off when we were doing the Fourth of July. Neighbors of the studio, partying hard, going ham. They're setting the bar for us right now. So. Best Halloween costume I ever had was Kenny Powers, for sure. Oh, 100%. <laughs> that was if you've th- never seen Eastbound and Down on HBO <laughs> and you like this podcast, it is going to be right up your alley. Oh, that shit's so funny. I Big stayed in identical. character. Exactly. In character. Like Kenny Powers. All I even night. pushed him. I was like, bro, I'm like, you really should go tanning to the tanning booth and put the glasses on and have that. He's he's Casper. He can't go in a tanning booth. Yeah, I would I would look like a European vacation when they fuck it. I got burnt dick on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking wild. Point. So we're deep. There's this huge fucking. How many DJs were there? Like fifteen? Yeah, something like that. This, I don't this remember. fucking um, hotel in Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. And they got all these fucking DJs and Sean's doing all the announcing and shit, dressed as fucking Kenny. Fucking powers. Oh, it was fucking Gold. hilarious. You're fucking out. You're fucking. I think he told a million people that night. No, I uh, told a lot of people. There's a, there is no iron team, but there is a you and cunt. <laughs> was the line I was using. A lot. Oh, dude, that was a crazy night. Like, that was the night that we drank that bottle of absinthe that I got. Yeah, from here. Oh, you and yeah. I, a Bro. bottle of absinthe. That was fucking... And we crazy. drank it completely wrong. You're supposed to, like... Put it in sugar? Yeah, you're supposed it, to have... You light it on fire and have the sugar cube melt I almost feel like it. we tried to do that, but we couldn't find sugar in the hotel. <laughs> they didn't have cubes. <laughs> they didn't have cubes, right. They only had, like, the... They're, pl- like, they're like... We tried What it. kind of bullshit place is this? You don't Bro, have Bro, that was the most sugar. disgusting stuff I've ever drank. It was black licorice and gasoline. It's the best way I can... <laughs> My <laughs> fucking throat and chest was on fire. I was literally, like, scratching... What did you it. What did you say to that? Some girls like passed out in the lobby. Oh, <laughs> eat, enjoy your chips. This girl's passed out in the lobby with a bag of chips. Just, just, just uh, enjoy those chips, honey. <laughs> as he's walking down the hall, using the wall to hold them up and fucking just. Uh, yeah, that's because that hotel was on a slant. No, no, that <laughs> was the absent. You were. I was fucked up. So fucked up. The show ends. I'm standing in the lobby, leaning against. They it, they had uh, double doors to block off another part. Like they went to a restaurant or something. I didn't understand that though. The hall only could have you in for a certain time, and then you went to a different hall. So for the after party, so yeah, it was a but, show and a show. So I'm leaning against these doors, you know, trying to stop the room from fucking going all willy nilly. <laughs> and I, I put my hand back and I hit the handle and I kind of stumbled back into the hallway. He <laughs> fell through the doors. I fell through the door, but I didn't hit the ground. I just, I, I literally took two steps back. I'm like, oh shit. Doors and, caught. And pulled the gl- doors closed. And the fucking security guard yells at me, "You just don't get it." And I go, "Yeah, you know what? You don't get pussy and respect." <laughs> <laughs> and everybody around. <laughs> Once again, I'm dressed as Kenny Powers still. Oh, still have the wig on, still had the hat on, still had the sunglasses on. Stayed, stayed in fucking character. And this guy's, I've never seen someone turn that shade of red. Because <laughs> he couldn't do anything about it. Right, because he knew you were 100% right. <laughs> yes. He he almost cried, I think. There was there might have been a tear squirting. 
<laughs> I was fucking dying. That was a crazy night. So oh, I was sick as fuck that night. It was horrible. So, That's right. You were like dying. Oh, man. I got Jeff through half the night just because of I made him eat, what, eight vitamin C's, two day quills. I wanted to party so bad, but I was we, so we sick. We threw every cold medicine we could at Jeff that had uppers in it. Yeah, because it was like a whole weekend we had the hotel rooms for it. I started like sweating. I did like, uh, let's see, five people's makeup. You started sweating at dinner. Well, let's just say, th- this is Jeff's idea of beating a cold. Anytime I ever talk to him and he's like, I'm sick as fuck, bro. What are you doing tonight? You want to go to the bar and drink? I got to drink <laughs> this out of me. I'm like, what? <laughs> You yeah. should take some medicine and go to sleep. No, no, no. I want to dance I, I, all night and sweat I need it to out. Murder, murder my, murder my immune system more. Right. I mean, I don't Just know anyone else it. that does that, and it works. All of a sudden, the next day he wakes up and he's fucking fine. Well, usually by that night, I'll feel, I'll feel fine. Well, that's the know. alcohol talking. You're really not. Yeah. <laughs> But you were sick as fuck that weekend. You were like on your deathbed. But yeah, you did everyone's well, then makeup. Then when I puke in the morning, I could be like, "It's not from the alcohol; it's from the flu." <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't the ecstasy. It was the egg rolls. Yeah. Uh, show reference. Show reference. Another Eastbound and Down reference. <laughs> so Kenny Powers. <laughs> so Jeff's like, "Fuck it, I'm going to sleep," and I'm like, "All right, dude, I'm just gonna keep drinking power bombs, which were Sparks Energy Drink, which were one of those things, eight percent alcohol." Yeah. yeah. And Doctor Cherry. I remember those just pounding those down. Me and you went on a fucking we, dude, journey. We we were trying to fucking the absinthe. Rip the, Rip the space time. Drinking continuum. energy drinks. Well, you had that. What was that thing you had? I had my bag? vaporizer. The vaporizer. Too. Yeah, with like the balloons and mm-hmm. the bags. And yeah. oh my God, we were so fucking just twisted. Oh, I, God, that was the year we did the Dead Presidents. And you, that's. Yeah. yeah. We did all the makeup and shit. White face and fucking. And drawer sh- robbers and, from and, the movie Dead Presidents. And drawer shitter one of his Beetlejuice. Yeah, he actually won the costume contest out of this makeup holiday. So That was the dopest Beetlejuice so I've ever in, seen. In all honesty, hopefully... Never got paid. Hopefully Dixon Cider will... Uh, that's right, Dixon Cider. Yeah, sponsor the next like they, Halloween show? They, yeah. No, hopefully they'll just give us some money and we can actually pay out shit drawer. <laughs> right? <laughs> Man, was that a fucking dope costume, though. That was a dope was. fucking weekend. So Jeff's in bed. I know he's done for the night. I'm fucking still out in the hallway. I'm trying to let him sleep. That's another reason why I was still out in the hallway. Because if I went back to the... Jeff couldn't get no sleep that weekend. Yeah, no. no. So We had a lot of people in all those rooms we had. So I'm like, dude, I got to go get our equipment. Because I didn't want to leave it in this open hall. Right. Everything else was too big to get the fuck out of there. Ours was smaller shit. <laughs> I remember you tried. So I took, the, I took the fucking luggage rack... And this thing had a shit wheel, I swear to God. <laughs> or the hotel's floors were, like, fucking two feet no, off on each side. you were side. the one that was wobbling all yeah, over the place, not this the cart. fucking wheel. So I get, See, he I, didn't really grab the cart to get the luggage. He just wanted to, uh, <laughs> so to hold on to get me to my room. <laughs> I was, so I dragged the cart. I packed all the equipment up perfect, by the way. All the wires were I wrapped. I bet that shit perfect. was hanging all over the No, place. it wasn't. Yeah, it's like Leo when he drives his Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah. I drove fine, amazingly. Yeah, totally nailed it. And then they show it later, his Lamborghini's all fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, no. That's what that, look, that's what that TJ equipment looked like. No, right? it, no wires it, hanging. It, it did not. It did not. It looked good. But I loaded everything on the cart, and I pushed it back to our room, closed the door, left the cart in there. Didn't take the shit off the cart. No, left the cart in, in the room overnight, and I laid on the floor because that's where I was sleeping because Jeff had the bed because he was fucking sick as a dog. So we're sharing the room with another buddy of ours and the guest he brought. They come stumbling His in. His lady like, friend. They, they got there like three minutes before I did. They're going to bed. I'm like, awesome. So she checks on Jeff. And she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's burning up. He's burning up. We need to get ice. And I go. Like, leave me alone and let me sleep. I'm like, I look at her. I'm like, he's burning up because we have the room set at 78, and he's got all the blankets on him. I'm so glad I have my own room. Mm. And she's like, oh, you don't know anything. I'm like, yeah, I do. I've been sick. I know what's going on with Jeff right now. She goes, well, I'm an ant. And I, <laughs> 
And not like a nurse or a paramedic. <laughs> no. yeah. She's an aunt. I know she totally to qualifies her. And once again, I'm still dressed as Kenny Powers. I <laughs> looked at her and I go, well, I'm an uncle. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> uh, she, she knew the remedies, bro. She's an aunt. So that's, so, that's like instant knowledge of fucking medical situation emergencies. So, so <laughs> she gets up and like gets a bag of ice and puts it on Jeff and it just breaks open. There's fucking <laughs> ice everywhere. And he's just going, I just want to sleep. <laughs> I just want to sleep. <laughs> So I was so pissed because I knew this ice was eventually going to melt <laughs> and my bed was going to be fucking soaked with water. So we get the ice. I, I grab the ice and get rid of it. I go <laughs> lay back on the floor. And they go to their bed. Jeff's, like, Jeff's still laughing. He's just like, I can't believe this fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> saying this shit out loud as she's in the room literally right next to him. So she's an aunt. She could take it. I yeah. I grab the one of the pillows and just lay on the floor, and that's it for me. And <laughs> Jeff's like, "Oh, finally!" So we're falling asleep, and all of a sudden, I just hear, "No, stop! Kiss me, <laughs> kiss me!" No, I don't want you. I don't want. To, we're just friends. So I don't want you. To <laughs> kiss me. Come on. I I bought you chilies. Kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> and I. Well. This this friend of ours has like the deepest <laughs> voice. He sounds straight up like Barry White. So him like whispering, "Kiss me." Was <laughs> it wasn't like, a whisper. It was like <laughs> it's like Will Ferrell when he had, what was it voice modulation where he's like, "I can't control the volume of my voice." <laughs> That's a hundred percent what it was. And I'm just laying in bed wanting to sleep so bad. <laughs> and I'm giggling. There's water I'm, from melted ice. And I'm, then I got this guy. This and sounds I, like the worst shit you've ever. It's just, and, and I'm giggling on the floor. Like a five, because I'm at the point now from the absinthe and the weed and all the shit that I'm at that like giddy, giggly stage. Slap happy as fuck. Slap just, happy, yeah, ready to go to 100%. bed. 100%. And this <laughs> curse me. <laughs> No, it was friends. I didn't know if Chili sealed the deal like that. Then I'm uh, owed a lot here. I love going to Chili's. <laughs> it's like my day place. That I was just like, all right. Well, I'm, dude, I mean, if you take a girl to Applebee's, you might get a hand job. <laughs> Chili's, <laughs> Chili's, Chili's. That that that's definitely worth the that's, kiss. That's fucking Olive fucking. Garden. You're going all the way. All the Olive, way. Olive Garden might Chili's, be anal. Chili's, you get. Oh yeah. <laughs> Unlimited breadsticks, baby. Fill up. <laughs> How many dates? I mean, How Olive Garden many dates. Olive Garden dates does it take? T- does it take for me to get to call you Cloud Pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Cloud Pussy, when we're loving. Speaking of Clown Pussy, what else dude, happened that dude. that night, Frankie? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Perfect segue. Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> that was a David Tell joke, by the way. I'm not stealing that. <laughs> I had my own room, thank God. I didn't have to deal with all that drama. But I was sharing a room with another couple. And uh, the, the the room we had was, like, split off. And I guess we would be what you would call the front room. Uh, yeah, you're in. So we were the, fr- the front <laughs> front room with, like, a pull-out bed. It was our side. And they had the, uh, you know, little room back there with the full they regular the bed. bed. Because they so, paid more. Yeah, they paid more. We, we got the discount. You know, fuck it. I'm passing out there only, right? Well, we did the makeup early, and she had a drive out there, so she came later, and she came in her costume, and Jeff did <laughs> my costume early as fuck, so I got, like, this, you know, ghost face painted on, and Arby jacket, and winter beanie. Well, when she got there, we decided to go upstairs and, uh, you know, chain the door, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, express how much we missed each other. So we're... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just came out like one of them fucking <laughs> Fabio novels on the fucking uh, wall there. So we're going at it and shit. And we're on this like, you know, this couch or whatever. And like th- th- the beginning, she's like, I can't fucking take this. You seriously like this is you look fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like turned around and like the other couple end up coming back to the room and they open the door. But just enough to where it cracks over the chain and they're looking <laughs> right Fucking at us and to, she's to full see. Costume, you fucking <laughs> clown makeup. O- o- open, 
open up to see one of the dead presidents fucking a fairy. I'm, look, I'm looking like right into their eyes and I'm just like, close the door. They're like, they're like oh my God. Well, hurry up. We want to go inside. <laughs> Fuck. God. You can come inside right after <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That Dixon Cider, I tell you. That, that Savage that times. Dixon Cider. I definitely brought a six pack. Oh, yeah. It was oh. a long weekend. <laughs> So, Ooh, so Frankie time, comes though. back and he's his mascara was running. Just a little sweaty. I was a little sweaty. <laughs> yeah, his makeup was running for sure. I was wearing a winter hat. <laughs> he actually looked like melted ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> just soft serve. <laughs> just soft serve. <laughs> <laughs> but he had a real big smile on his face, and he had a bottle of absinthe, and oh. that, that brings us full circle to. Jesus. Oh, do you remember what I told the front desk lady who was a not attractive female? As I'm walking against the wall, leaning at a 90 degree angle, which I don't know how I was walking like that, but I was. She's like, okay, you got to go back to your room now. And I go, hey, how about I, how about I buy us breakfast at George Webb? You got to <laughs> drive because obviously I can't stand up straight. <laughs> That was like a Barry moment where he's like, I knew the whole time. The whole time. Baby. Oh, no. I I knew the whole time. I just wanted some fucking eggs. <laughs> eggs. I'll do whatever for some eggs right now. Hell, yeah. Bring that fur burger over here. I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, just by the look of her, you know it was an untamed beast. <laughs> oh, okay. It was. It was. It was 12 miles of bad jungle down there. Oh fuck the good old days! Shit. I, I, I'm gonna tell you now if she's super skinny, like bored, like with slicked back hair, dude, you know you're gonna be dealing with. You some need to run. Muff. I'm I'm out on that. <laughs> About you know what though that was a good time because that's when low rise jeans were in, fucking hip huggers and oh muffin tops. Muffin tops. Can't wear can't wear low rise jeans with a high rise. They had blonde right? hair with the black <laughs> underneath. Studded for years. Mm. Frankie's wheelhouse. Studded belts. Studded belts, bro. Yeah, basically, if you're a, if, to come back. if you're a scene girl, you're in, you're Frankie's wheelhouse. I'm totally over this mom jean phase that these women are in. That hey, should be my gentleman's rant. I fucking hate it. Hey, hey, hey guys, oh, so horrible looking. We already talked about this. I don't care. I'm still bothered <laughs> by it, triggered, Sean. Bro. Uh, hey. Very triggered. Hey, man, just remember, we're storming Area 51. Hopefully that'll <laughs> change everything. That'll be the next trend. No, we're not, we're not going to storm the government to, you know, get rid of taxes and do shit like that. No, we're going to go, we won't know where we'll aliens are. Aliens. God damn aliens. How funny would it be if they broke up and it was a fucking outcast concert waiting for them? <laughs> aliens. <laughs> right. <laughs> they were doing the whole album. <laughs> I'd go I'll be show. in for that for they, sure. They go charging in and also behind the wheels of steel. Ooh, was, that oh. thunder? was that country thunder? Ooh. No, that's that's regular thunder. That's regular. That was country loud. thunder. Yeah, hopefully, so hopefully, right hopefully it's not homegirl on her phone again. Oh God. Uh, be safe. Oh man, I'm going to hell for that joke. What an asshole you are, man. That is a dickhead joke. I Gotta apologize for that joke. No, I don't. Because if you're dumb enough to go back, you got hit last year. If you're dumb enough I'm to out. go back out there again, you might. You know what? Actually, I give her props, man. Facing your fears and going back. I bet you she's not on her phone this weekend. Oh, I bet you that phone. I bet she is. I'd leave it in my car. I don't like I, when we ever we go somewhere on any kind of vacation and we go away for the weekend. I don't. I don't carry my phone. I keep it in the glove box. I don't need it. I'm only there with the people. I can't control anything out of that zone. No. Yeah, but you got to take a picture of your meal. I don't ever. <laughs> I can't yes, he did. Those people. Yes, he did. I've done it before. I'm not saying I haven't, but I don't ever take like pictures. Like I'm not a picture guy. Like selfie. I love when people video record fireworks. Like no one's ever <laughs> watching this fucking video no. ever again. I I just love it. They're sitting there recording it. Like they're not even gonna watch it. No. And who do you show that to? I'm the hey bro. You want to see the fireworks from last <laughs> night? Check it out. <laughs> Wait for this one. Well, this is a blue one. Wait till the end. Oh, watch this grand finale. It's a finale that was grand. Pew pew pew. 
Just it's just some don't even, drunk guy you, running with sparklers. But can't you just live in the moment? You know, you you live that memory. Everyone but no, you gotta fucking record memory, it. So. Yeah, but no one watches firework videos on their phone ever. It, if you're on Snapchat and you see the one firework video, you're f- hitting your thumb as fast as you can to burn through burn that through video. Them. What's like next? Like you scroll through Facebook, everyone's posting I don't do firework that. videos. Like yeah, I saw my own. I gotta get on the Facebook thing. Sean's yelling at me all the time. Dude, I'm going to get on it. I'm, pss, I'm still waiting pss, for you to figure out the video. Yeah, I don't know technology. I don't like it. Yeah, but you have Google on your phone, and it'll take you three seconds to read. I Google Oh, it. wait a minute. God, I, Jeff, I can't wait till we get ad reads. We're not reading ads. Frankie reads all the ads. There's no oh, way no. I, can, I, can, I can't read nothing. Frankie reads all the ads. That's just, I'll butcher everything. We're never going to get paid. <laughs> If you want exciting ads that are going to be not even close to what you send in, <laughs> let us know because I'll be happy to try to read something. The Gentleman's Den Pod at gmail.com <laughs> or Gentleman Den Pod on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, it's Twitter. late. He's, he's going thick and hard. <laughs> it hey, man. It looks like there's a rave outside. I keep seeing the heat lightning and it's just flashing, flashing, no, flashing. heat up. lightning. That's regular That's lightning. Is there a strobe out there? Is there a fucking. The, the, there's body. a cop out there writing you a Ooh. ticket. Yeah, parking in front of my garage. You got Bill out there writing one of those tickets from fucking How High. Let me go talk to <laughs> Bill. What is this? 50 bucks? I can't pay this. Wait, is this even a real ticket? No, it's a student citation. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> movie reference. Such a good movie. Movie reference. Oh, we went on some movies today. Some new movies oh, coming out. I can't wait. Yeah, you were watching the Top Gun. I watched Top Gun. Looking good. Top Gun. Why no, is Maverick not. still only a captain? I don't know, but we're about to <laughs> it's find been out. Twenty-five years, and of course, I'm excited for the other movie. Jay and Silent Bob yes. reboot. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be fucking great. Oh my gosh, <sighs> I'm pretty fucking pumped. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't have a dick, sir. <laughs> That's going to be a journey. The three of us are going to have to go to, and we'll stop at my place. We'll get real spiritual and go to the show and watch that like we oh, did for Alice in Wonderland. That scene made me laugh I'm so pumped, hard. I'm pumped because they got like cast from like all the movies. Right. Yep. Affleck's in it. It's Jason gonna Lee's be in it. Matt Damon. Matt it's Damon. Matt Damon. When, Even the bigs is When it. Shannon Elizabeth opens the door. She's like, oh, Jay, we had a love child. And she opens the door, and it's a little <laughs> black girl standing there. She goes, I'm going to need a blood test. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm just saying, <laughs> that just took me down a road, like, of the Maury. I watched, like, You're Not the Father videos on Maury for an hour one night last week, and that shit is the funniest. You'll never get that hour back. Yeah, right? Thank God. Was no, intense. W- no, what's f- hilarious about it is, like, the names of the shows. This one was, I was tested four, 24 times. This time I know this is the daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what party was that happening at? Right. right. Well, that was, a, that was a busy month. Yeah. Hell yeah. You've been, Actually, it's got to be a couple of weeks. Now. You've been on the sh- that much. Tanya, you've been on the show 47 <laughs> times. Do you think you know who it was? I don't know. It was a really busy gangbang that night. She's one of those girls that goes to the yogurt shop and just samples everything. (laughs) Doesn't pay for anything. No, she just wants to sample them. (laughs) Can I try this one again? I I always love Maury because the kids on that show are always named so stupid. (laughs) And the one was... In the case of five month year old or five month old little Latigre, <laughs> it's gonna be the next fucking star. You know it, Frederick. You are not the father. <laughs> oh, they always get up and like the one guy. There's like a video gets up Boom. and like break dances right on the stage. What? I fucking did your face. And my favorite is when the woman gets up and runs off the stage like, oh my god, I, I can't, can't believe that. this. You know who knocked you up. Right. Because a lot of the times, like, you're the only one I've been with. You're the only one I've been with. You are not the father. She's just like, oh, my God, it was that DJ I hooked up with. Oh, shit. It was that 
five time felon DJ I hooked up with. I just can't stand bar. how they build everything up and then go to commercial. That's why I don't watch TV. Fucking hate it. The anticipation. Kill yeah. it, me. Always. Well, that's, that's why, why I, I love like HBO or, or like a series on right, Netflix. Right, I'm a binger. Because it's just, it just. That's it why just you watch. Goes. That's why you watch CSI on Netflix, because it gets it shit. gets it gets rid of the commercials. Yeah. And CIS. Um, watched them. All. Ooh, look at just that fades thing. the black and then comes back. Instantly. Instantly, and then you find out who the killer is. Right. I don't have but to I wait knew the whole through time. a McDonald's commercial making me all hungry and shit. Right. And I got fucking dick pill ads. <laughs> you know what I want to see is a is a regular dick pill ad. All these like Viagra commercials. Yeah, why they are they always attractive ass old people? The guy's got all a full head of hair. <laughs> the fucking lady's sixty years old. She's banging as fuck. Literally raising a barn. Like <laughs> they're doing right. the most unbelievable activity. Well, I think that's a metaphor of raising the barn. Well, I want to see a real couple. You know, all pissed off. She, you know, sm- she smokes like 30 Winstons a day. Betsy's in the house <laughs> churning butter, and here comes old Frederick from working on the farm all day. He's all dirty, just comes in behind her, and they start churning the butter like that scene from Ghost and he's, with the pottery and, wheel. And he's looking down at his sad, wilted yam bag. And she smiles. She's got three teeth. He's like, you know what time it is, baby? And as she takes another. took my Cialis. I feel like that's going to be a commercial, though. It's got to be. Like, right? why don't they have regular people? It's it, always it like these people be. who are too good looking. Like, it, only only good looking people yeah. are fucking at 50. Well, everyone thinks there's, I mean, you got to have good self-esteem, but everyone looks good to themselves, right? It has to be realistic. I knew the whole time. I want a realistic commercial. Well, that's like the, all those drug commercials. It's like. I take blah blah blah, and I love when they're reading. They're reading, fucking... yeah, sixty seconds of side effects, and they're always like smiling Horrible. and having the best time of your life. Yeah, about playing your badminton in the blood background. Blood holes gonna explode ones, for yeah, ten it's hours. So fucking horrible, and then it always ends with possibly death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, fuck that. Well, my favorite is all the antidepressant ones. If you take the well, uh, you know, blah blah blah. Might have suicidal thoughts. And if suicidal thoughts, stop taking the drug immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. No, I'm gonna take another handful of these bitches. See how maybe it'll re- go away. See how dark I get. <laughs> I take took one, and, and one up. made me do that. So if I take two, maybe it'll make me go up. The problem is with those, like they list. Oh, if you feel like this or like this, it's so vague. Anyone sitting there could be like, "Man, I I'd have those have that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's just like any time they, you know, a new disease comes on the news, and it's you know, oh, your symptoms are you know diarrhea and. And the one day you get the shits for eating a you know a bad burger off of a truck or something, you're like, oh, I got it, I'm gonna die, oh, yeah, I'm gonna die. Wanna, well, that's yeah. what's bad about like that WebMD. Yeah. Everyone thinks they're a fucking nurse or doctor now, so they like have some fucking yeah. rash comes up on their hand and they oh, instantly cancer. start googling it. I could, I could die, my hand could fall off. It's like, oh, easy now here. Yeah. You go, you jump into a you jump into a hundred here. Easy, doctor. Thick it is, okay? Might just put some uh, lotion on it and we'll look at it in the morning. Puts the lotion on the skin. Always. You guys don't know. <laughs> you guys don't have those problems. I have ashy problems. You're at, you got ashy elbows? Yeah, bro. You got to stay, stay hydrated. Keep lotioned up, you know? You got to. Frankie's the greasiest motherfucker on the planet. <laughs> no way. No, he, you. he glistens in the, the sun. I got the softest skin in the world. This olive beautiful coat I got on me. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because you're... Want to borrow my brown suit for the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I am naked. It's not Come brown, it's in. bronze. Bronze. <laughs> Your ass is tanner than my face. <laughs> I've been calling you all day. What are you doing? Putting up my Christmas tree. <laughs> it's fucking July. <laughs> it is? Come on, Ed. Movie reference. God, that's one of my favorites Grandma's of all time. Boy. Oh, my God. I love, how, I love how that movie got shit on. By the critics, I don't and know it is how. literally one of the funniest fucking movies. Like I feel like that was well, a these trend critics setter. are like all all these movies that I love. The critics gave it shit reviews because right. they don't have a sick sense of humor. Right, they're just like they're not real people. It's just full of pussy and dick jokes. People. This thing was horrible. Yeah, it's my it's favorite like, type yeah, of movie. Yeah, and watching wh- that for sure. <laughs> and what did what did I grow up on? Pussy and dick jokes. Mm-hmm. Why do you think the American Pie series made so much fucking money? 
Oh, it was great. Because it, of the bond was, of their friendship, everyone it was could relate one, to it. It was one long dick joke all the way through it. Penis joke. What uh, a fucking classic. Those, they don't make movies really like that. What's what's like a slapstick? They don't. Uh, uh, blockers. Goon. Goon was good. Goon's hilarious. Did you see Stan Helsing? No. No. It's on Amazon. It's got a... The spoof of Van Helsing? Yeah. It's got uh How'd you guess that one? <laughs> it's Lucky g- guess. It's got there. Kev from Shameless. So you know it's the good. main character. And he's fucking hilarious. I feel like there's a bunch of movies that I don't have time to watch that I want to watch. I don't think that's one of them, but... Well, Stan Helsing also has the same box as, like, Scary Movie did. Yeah, and those all that are stuff. Great box, too. like the cover. You said box, right? Yes, I said box. The same box. 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 <laughs> you know what else comes in boxes? Dicks and cider. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas pack. <laughs> in chunky homestyle fashion. Ooh. Dude, don't start your weekend without it. Always have it on deck. Always. Dicks and cider. Fridge is full of it. <laughs> Not really. It's good. Two big ass bottles It'll of It'll fill you up. <laughs> I feel like uh, <clears throat> isn't it time for the sponsor? Yeah, we're uh, we're coming to a close. We're in an hour. It's coming to that time. So grab your lady and pull her close. I can see my glass of Cavassier is almost finished. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what that means? It. it means it's time to go. Love you all. Thank you all so much for listening. Email us at the gentleman's den pod at gmail.com. And for you locals, come out more. Yeah, stop being pussies. I like seeing you. (laughs) So we're going to close it out once again with the uh, commercial from our old boy Butch Dixon down in Texas. (laughs) Bringing you that that good old Dixon cider. <laughs> this has been the gentleman's done for Sean, Jeff, and Frankie. We'll talk to you next week. Man, I just don't know what to pick. Reds, Angry Orchard. I want a cider, but these just aren't hard enough. Hey, honey, you looking for a hard cider that's really gonna fill you up? Yeah, but who are you? The name's Butch Dixon, and I've got the hardest cider around. Hard Dixon Cider. Give it a taste. Mmm, this is great. Told you, and it comes in all kinds of flavors. Hard, harder, and my wife's favorite, she loves the hardest Dixon Cider. Thanks, Butch Dixon. Anytime, honey. And if you like a fuller, creamier flavor, try our seasonal summer malt liquor. Thick, dark Dixon cider. Also, try our new 40 ounce. Huge Dixon cider. Comes with a bonus Kid Rock's greatest hit CD. You'll love hard Dixon cider. I guarantee it. Or my name isn't Butch Dixon.